Near Tandon's confirmation hearings for uh, Director of Office, uh, Office of Management and Budget, very powerful position actually in this town, continued yesterday. And uh, one moment really caught everyone's attention. This is Senator John Kennedy. She's gotten a lot of heat, understandably, for some of her many thousands mm -hmm. of Bad aggressive tweets, tweets yeah. um, attacking Republicans and also attacking the left in general and Senator Sanders in particular. So here is Republican Senator John Kennedy uh, going after Nira for attacking Senator Sanders. I, I have to tell you, I'm very disturbed about your personal comments about people. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's not just one or two. I think you deleted about a thousand tweets. And it wasn't just about Republicans. And I don't mind disagreements in policy. I think that's great. I love the dialectic. But the comments were personal. Mm -hmm. I mean, you call Senator Sanders everything but an ignorant slut. That is not. That is not true. And when, when you when you said these things, did you mean them? I would have said ignorant. <laughs> Senator, I have to say, I deeply regret my comments. I understand that, but and when I you said them, did you them. mean them? <laughs> Also, and she doesn't regret anything. Of Don't course lie. not. She didn't care. Don't lie. She was post. She was going after yeah. everybody on Up Twitter. Up until the day the after she got the moment yeah. that she got nominated, yeah. then suddenly she erased everything. And I respect I'm, her more if she owned tone. it. She's like, yeah, I meant every word of it. What are you gonna do? You're, still, you're also gonna vote for me. I mean, yeah. I'm kind of deeply conflicted about this yeah. because I do hate the idea of someone's like tweets mm -hmm. and posting being used against them forever. But then also, on the other hand. Biden's whole thing is supposed to be restoring the soul and civility and unity and all of that. And then you pick one of the nastiest actors out there. Just nasty. Not only aggressively against Republicans, but really vicious in um, going after the left and going after Senator Sanders. I mean, my bigger issue with her, as I covered yesterday, than her mean tweets um, is her corruption mm -hmm. and the fact that, you know, taken in millions of dollars from every large interest and the way that that creates a gigantic conflict of interest. Center for American Progress, her think tank, was essentially created as the Hillary Clinton administration in waiting. So you had all kinds of foreign governments, Wall Street banks, corporate interests sending millions of dollars to cap, thinking that they're cozying up to the potential new administration. I mean, the whole thing is basically a corrupt undertaking and documented that they would change their reports and um, use heavy-handed tactics with their supposedly journalistically independent yeah. arm Think Progress to make sure that they weren't pissing off their big donors and interests. Um, that's my bigger issue with her, but that was a really funny moment. Yeah, it was. And just to put a <laughs> cap on that, let's put this up there from Ryan Grimm. Let's see what you did the there. The U.S. Chamber of Commerce, the U.S. Chamber of Commerce, is endorsing mm. Nira's confirmation, saying that she has been a mm. partner and collaborator, particularly mm. on international trade. Boy, that's a feel-good story and right there. And just to be clear, they use the words partner and collaborator. So what do you think the chamber means when they say partner and collaborator on international trade? Yeah. That's TPP. That's TPP. That's, that's NAFTA. Mm -hmm. That is every terrible trade deal that we've had over the last 30 years. That is making sure you can continue to ship jobs to China and Mexico. That is at its core. They are out in the open about it. And that is 30 times more objectionable than any stuff that she's ever said. That's online. the bipartisan consensus yeah. right there. And isn't it funny how like the moneyed, in moneyed interest, while these people are fixated on mean tweets because they don't want to be implicated in the corruption because they yeah. do the same kind of stuff, right? Um, the powerful moneyed interests are focused on the policy that benefits them. Yeah. Isn't that telling? Yeah. It's really telling. Senator Sanders also questioned her yesterday and, you know, also had some questions for her about her attacks on him um, and went after her for the corruption and the corporate interests. But, I mean, I think it would be, I would be shocked if she doesn't end up getting confirmed. And I, it does make me sad. Mm -hmm. I, it is no one was more viciously anti-left and anti-Bernie than Nira Tannen. And so he, let's not forget the context, too, that the Office of Management and Budget that she would be confirmed ahead, that's the agency that works hand in glove with Bernie Sanders, now he's chair of the Senate Budget Committee. Right. So it really is a gigantic slap in the face. She will be in charge of granting, get this, ethics waivers 
this is going to be your ethical watchdog <laughs> in the Biden administration. What a joke. And yet, you know, seems very likely, unless something really unforeseen happens, that she's going to get confirmed. Congratulations, Director. Congratulations to us all. More rising for you after this. <laughs>